All right, hello everyone. It's Mark Walton here for GameSpot, and I'm here with our very own Danny O'Dwyer, who came out of a room at EA booth with the yeah. biggest grin on his I face know, ever. And I'm going to assume it's due to a video game and not some sort of weird sexual <laughs> game that you were involved in. I t oh yeah, I don't like talking up games too much on previews, but that was pretty close to a sexual experience. They're going to get the game. <laughs> Titanfall. I just uh, went in. They showed us a quick video of how to play the game, and then we got two rounds in what they call campaign multiplayer, which is this what we saw basically uh, yesterday at the, yeah. at, the, at the conference, which is you were being dropped into the game, the story beats, and you're fighting a mixture of of AI, other people, yeah. um, and then you're on your own team as well. And it's it's mental. <laughs> it's absolutely mental. Okay. I, I can go as far into deep into this as you deep, want. Deep, deep, deep. Just, just what? Okay, you came out of there. Yeah. The thing, the thing I got was you looked like you had the most fun yeah. ever. Convey the fun. Okay, so I, I'm that's that's the crux here, right? I was playing on a PC, so it's coming right. on 360 PC and Xbox One, of course, so right, Xbox yeah. exclusive. So I had the choice playing on mouse and keyboard or, or yeah. controller with keyboard. Uh, you pick a loadout, you pick a routine. Three different pilots in this yeah. mode, um, and then you pick between three different titans. Uh, but you can change that at any point during the okay, game, or okay. at least we could here. Um, the loadouts are pretty, you know, s s standard. Some interesting stuff, long way. Well, like a sniper some, guy, like yeah, a yeah, rocket okay, guy. Right, yeah. um, but you never really feel like you don't have a good weapon. You just have to right. change the way you you play it. Play it. So you, you start up. You're in this drop ship. There's this mechanical robot man saying, "Jump out the friggin' back of this thing." <laughs> you jump out. It doesn't seem to be fall damage. I guess you got your jetpacks. Yeah. Um, and straight away, uh, there was a story thing going on, but you could just go. Right. There was like a little sort of an incident there, but you could just run away. And then at that stage, it's it's a mixture of like running around, getting used to the guns, but also realizing that you, this is a game that you are not supposed to be running on the ground in. Like no. you can wall ride and you can do the double the jumps. The jetpacks, isn't yeah. it? And move, maneuvering that way is the way to survive. Isn't it? So the first map, and this was only like a I don't know a, a five ten minute game. Yeah. The first go to that was really trying to get used to how it worked. Pick it up surprisingly quick. It kind of yeah. reminds me of Tribes, and then also kind of Mirror's Edge in a way because when you're running up the walls and you hit space by you're jumping. Yeah. So you quickly realize that you can actually jump double jump to the other side of the road, run across that one. Right. Uh, and you can basically mantle on top of anything. Walls, bridges, and the titans themselves. Oh, that's, see, so you, that's the cool stuff, right? So you can get a hop along. If one yeah. of your buddies is in a titan, you can hop on the back of that uh, and then shoot. Or uh, at one stage, I was uh, titanless, and I jumped down onto another enemy titan, yeah. ripped off the back of the, like, paneling, and just started shotgunning the back <laughs> of this guy's, like, robot spine yeah, yeah, until sure. it blew up. Uh, and it was full of just moments like that. Like the, it's incredible. The vistas are gorgeous. There's like dropships flying overhead. The story beats, the mechanical things that happen in the level are down to story beats. So yeah. if you don't get a certain amount, it basically the way it win, you win is there's two two different teams. You reach a certain point level and you've won. The points are based on you get different scores for killing AI people, killing regsy online people, people real yeah, people, yeah. or destroying titans. Sure. And so whoever reaches that, kind of like a reverse ticketing system, whoever reaches that. Um, wins, and then right. at that stage, you either have to, well, you have to run away. It's, it's I forget, forget what the mode is called, but they call it something, and you have to get the hell out. Okay. And there's a jump ship, and both times, the first time I tried to do it, please I ended tell me up, one. Please tell me the one. second time I just didn't even get to it, I got blown up when I got out of my Titan. But the first okay. time, I wall jumped like, and this is my first time playing the game, so it shows you how easy you get to do it. I wall jumped the whole way, I jumped on top of an enemy Titan, and then jumped to the drop ship, and as I did, it exploded. <laughs> but it was just like, yes! Was so, close. so I guess, I guess my, my, my main question, just, hmm. just quickly, is that when we saw the demo that people will have seen during the yes. press conference, it looked like one of those demos that could have been very tightly scripted. And what, what I guess what I'm asking is, when you played it, did you have those sort of off-the-cuff experiences that were in that demo? And you think people at home are going to actually get that when they play this? Game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, not maybe as like the, whoever was doing that demo, and if they cut it or edited yeah. it, was, it was like had a lot going on in it, yeah. uh, and it was pretty well shooting and stuff. But no, you, you feel in control of your motion, and all the time, crazy stuff's happening. Yeah. So like. I was running along and I was uh, in a Titan and suddenly like a load of um, rockets start hitting me and you get an indication as to where it's coming from and yeah. I turn around and I'm in the heavy weapons one and I just go, ah, boom, it just turns into blood mist, it's <laughs> boom, amazing, out of nowhere and getting into the Titans is great, you can get in from underneath the ground and they pick you up yeah. and there's a sense, it's like a, when you get in it's black and then the screen folds in and I literally felt myself sitting up in my seat <laughs> when it happened, because you're suddenly like, all right, yeah, some dudes yeah. are going to die now. Yeah, uh, awesome. yeah it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really great. It's fun outside the Titan, and it's fun in the Titan. 
for in each map, I probably got the Titan maybe three times, maybe four times, well, and they give you yeah. they give you comms. So they'll say like your next Titan drops coming in or Titan falls coming in thirty seconds, fifteen right. seconds, yeah. five seconds, and then you have to find a spot on the map to drop it, okay. hop in the thing, and then just start <laughs> messing up fools. So this is literally this is honestly this is literally the most excited I've ever seen Danny O'Dwyer over a game it's, preview. It's honestly. just getting a different just, type of multiplayer. And all it's, right. when you get, it's like the first time you play Modern Warfare, like Call of Duty 4, and you're just like, oh, this is this wonderful. Is yeah. yeah, and Titanfall, I really got that like just deep sense of excitement. Um, they teased it, like after one go, they were like, yeah, what do you think of that? And then they sure. said, we'll let you play it again. And it was just, hey. you try not to let them know. All yes. right, all right. Well, there you have it, folks. Titanfall, a very happy Danny O'Dwyer. Remember, just head over to gamespot.com to check out more from Gamescom.